Blessings, Taurus soul travelers, and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You are joining Priestess Melissa for your weekly reading. We are getting into a reading for you around love and the new moon energies and seeing what's going on for you. Do bear in mind that these readings may or may not resonate with you, but if they do and you'd like to know more, reach out to me at venusianways.org for a personal reading. Also, guys, we are going to be setting off. I've already started posting more, and I'm going to be giving you even more details about what's to come with the course that I put out, the Tarot Certification course. You're not going to want to miss it because this is your opportunity to train with me and initiated priestess and learn all about how to read tarot not just you know by looking at it but intuitively how to tap more into your psychic gifts if you will all right so reach out to me by email all the information is in the description box below and seats are limited so make sure that you get in on this okay December 9th through the 11th three days we're gonna be doing this all right we got triumph and the waiting game so what have we been waiting for this Seems like we've been waiting for something, you know, to come to a head, for things to be good, for things to prosper, perhaps, you know, with this, um, you've been waiting for something to grow is what this seems like to me, Taurus, today, at least in the pre-shuffle energies that I'm seeing coming out in the psychic tarot. We're also going to be getting messages to clarify from the vice versa tarot. And then because it's the new moon, we are going to get into the moonology cards. Manifestation, that is, since it is the new moon. Beautiful cards here. This is a Scorpio card. Reveal what needs to be seen. So again, what needs to be seen, you know? Where's all the money going, perhaps, is what I was hearing, you know? Where is all the money? we got cool your emotions. So something's going to be revealed, and it may uh, kind of piss you off a little bit Taurus is what I'm sort of getting in the energies just coming out in the pre-shuffle we'll stick around to the end because we're definitely going to clarify these love messages with some lovers oracle cards all right so you're not going to want to miss that okay guys let's bring in the energies of this reading if we will take a couple of nice slow deep breaths and watch your ears thank you dear angels ancestors way showers and guides of the white light we honor you for the messages for Taurus. In love. Show us what we need to know. Beautiful, guys. Thank you so much. I just want to give you a shout out for all of your likes, comments, shares, donations. I truly appreciate you all. Hit the subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already. Excuse me, belching a little bit there. That way you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Now, if I'm a little uh, running over my words and stuff, um, this is my second 12-hour shift. I do three 12s in a row at this time. Um, but this is my last shift, actually, of doing this. So I do start a new position on Monday. It's a contracted position, or not this Monday, but next Monday. It's a contracted position, but, you know... We are keeping ourselves in the place where when it is time, we can make those moves and do some bigger things in life and just work at a J-O-B, right? Because, you know, I'm sorry, but that is not living the dream for those who always like to make that statement. Let's see what's coming out for Taurus, shall we? Taurus. What do we need to know? So we have healing family issues. Absolutely, that could be what's going on right now. Maybe um, there is issues around, you know, particularly money, because that's what I was seeing coming out in the pre-shuffle. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe you had a parent, you know, that um, if this is the case with the overspending or, you know, somebody who likes to play the lottery or go to the casino, you know, those type of people. Um, and it's like you're always wondering where's the money and you don't have enough to take care of things that you need to, right? And maybe that's what you experienced growing up. And now it's kind of like, wow, how did I find myself in this same dynamic, you know, saying I'd never you know, be in this type of situation. Well, it's because, you know, we get caught up in those romantic feelings, right? We get caught up in all the love energy whenever we're, you know, connecting in these situations and we lose our control, you know, let go of control issues. That can be good. But, you know, if it's with someone that, you know, you're not really 
on a good level with and there are things that you need to address you know it's just going to constantly keep bringing up these issues and it's like do you want your kids to see the same dynamic if this is the case you know with the kids here um that you have been through and that you know you don't want them to have to experience as well so you know it's like be careful who we choose to uh get into relationships with you know what i mean let go of control issues it's like maybe that was the problem to begin with is we didn't have our boundaries up you know as much as we may have needed to um, to make sure that we're allowing what is going to be best for us into our experience you know again to transcend these generational curses perhaps if you will something that you could be reliving at this time in your own life right okay so the answers to your prayers about your love life are based in your feelings about your mother and father the romance angels see that you would benefit from releasing old anger towards one or both of them so this is involving your parents is what this is saying and any anger that you may be holding towards either one or both of them you know and saying that again these dynamics are coming up and now you may even be feeling like this is you know this person acts like your father or your mother you know kind of thing and that is because your feelings about your parents influence your cho your choice of romantic partners and the way in which you deal with relationships right so we've had those romantic feelings coming out on the bottom and talking about romantic relationships and how you know again like i was saying these dynamics that we may have experienced and seen witnessed you know when we were younger um it's interesting how they end up playing out because that's the example that we saw so we just kind of naturally even if it doesn't make any sense but we go in that direction you know and until we kind of come to our senses and say hey what are we doing here you know how did we get here this is crazy all right because it never seems that way in the beginning when everything's all romantic right but when we get down to reality we got to re you know when the pay uh the rubber hits the road as they say we got to be ready you know to um show up if you will be committed you can ask the angels to help you put forgiveness into action so to forgive someone excuse me doesn't mean that you are in endorsing his or her behavior the angels will tell you rather that doing so is a form of deep emotional detoxification it means i'm no longer willing to carry toxic energy within my mind and body right because what does this do it does nothing but follow us throughout life and continues to bring these same situations into our lives right we have to transcend it when you find inner peace with your parents, you will no longer need to attach unhealthy relationship patterns, need to be need to attract, sorry, unhealthy relationship patterns and partners as a way of healing family emotional wounds. It's like you do this before you go into the relationships and then that way you're not going to go into that kind of relationship is what this is saying. All right? So all of your relationships, especially the one you have with yourself, will benefit yeah absolutely right um being able to come to peace or just to be okay with things in general you know happy doesn't necessarily mean that you're overjoyed you know there's different levels to it but happy in the general sense means that you're at peace you're content you're okay you know what i mean you're um not going more on that negative downward spiral you're staying more in the positive way so this is really going to help you by starting to see maybe be more compassionate towards your parents as well as far as what example were they given i mean you don't know you know what they experienced when they were growing up so this is where it's really important for us to be more compassionate with one another because you know truly we really are all trying our best and many of us don't even realize that these past dynamics are playing such a role in throwing us off you know of our innate connection within ourselves and to that greater aspect of being all that is you know what i mean 
and it does affect our partnerships, you know, when we are thrown off of our balance and our connections. And again, this is stemming from childhood. So whether you're in a dynamic right now or not, this is definitely going to throw everything off. This is a sacral chakra in reverse. If you have carnelian, orange colored stones is really good to work with for the sacral chakra, but particularly carnelian. Um, it's got that fiery glow to it, and I don't think I have any on my table. It's I don't know where it is at the moment but in any case it is definitely really good you can even like while you're laying down put it on your sacral chakra which is going to be just above your pubic bone below your belly button basically you know in that area where your uterus would be as a woman you know what I mean um, but you have an energetic one even as a male you know what I'm saying so very important again you know it all starts in the womb the creation and all of that you know so it's like where do we want to go from here with that do we want to keep going and recreating the same drama and scenarios that unfortunately our parents and grandparents and things like that weren't able to transcend but we have an opportunity to do that and also to show our own children if we have any or even when we get to that point to where you know we do will be in a healed state we'll have done that before we get into these relationships hopefully and then there's so much less work to do right you can just get to building creating enjoying that's the way it should be right so solitude coming out here today maybe you've been spending a lot of time alone at this time really maybe i even saw this as looking through photo books maybe you've been looking through some photo books um, either of your current family or past family or both and just kind of looking at maybe going through those memories but also at the same time you know if this is your current connection not you know trying to understand why things are not adding up this could even be looking at the ledger book, if you will, you know, as far as that tower and stability, it's like, how stable are we? And the material and spiritual energies seem to be, you know, in the reverse in this past energy. And so I see you kind of looking over this and yeah, not feeling very good. Maybe not choosing, feeling like you chose very wisely in the sense of perhaps the current partner that you find yourself with facing the shadow side yeah looking at this situation looking at yourself and you know more importantly in connection with your upbringing and how that could be playing into what's going on here at this time definitely not you know in your power at this time or feeling you know disempowered or like someone is holding power over you with that authority in reverse right spiritual union here coming out and it's you know i almost get a, a feeling that this is you know could be a good relationship but both people have to choose to be on board and be giving you know to this building that foundation together is going to be so important with the red here ruby and um bloodstone could be a good energy for you to work with as far as the sacral chakra not moving on so definitely there is an energy that I'm, I'm feeling that perhaps you know one or both of you aren't wanting to move on from this situation but at the same time it needs to heal it needs to transform or you may you know end up having a tower situation coming through here you want to be seen you know and appreciated for who you are especially within your partnerships right and right now you just really may not be feeling that with that sacral chakra in reverse not feeling like things are growing not feeling like there is opportunity for things to grow but at the same time maybe finding it hard to you know make a decision a hard and fast decision perhaps to uh, leave a situation if you will let's clarify with the light of the hero and see what is coming out for us here solitude energy we have yep i feel like you've taken a step back because things haven't been going well in this relationship maybe not feeling like things are solid if you will and that's why you know you've come into this energy of solitude coming back into yourself to try to really look at the situation and to try to understand 
why things haven't been growing, why this seems more like a situation where you constantly have your walls up around someone and around money again with that Queen of Pentacles. Um, maybe like uh, withholding money from somebody is what I heard, you know, because literally like it's affecting, um, well, your stability at this point with the material and spiritual uh, wealth or prosperity in reverse. And then we got the Knight of Swords energy coming out here and it's like, maybe you were getting nervous because you were seeing that things were like going the wrong way fast you know what I mean and this caused you to close yourself off because maybe you weren't feeling quite so happy anymore you're like what's going on here why does it feel like you know something I really felt so good about at one point now seems like it's just so confusing yeah I feel like you are very confused you know as far as making again a hard and fast decision about perhaps leaving a situation if this, or this is a past energy. Um, yeah, maybe somebody wanted a second chance with that judgment energy coming out here today, or maybe you did give somebody a second chance, you know? You are an empress, or you stand in that energy, but it's like, you know, if we're not careful, and again, not healed, before we allow these situations, even if you're allowing somebody to come back, 1616, it still has to be the right type of energy. You have to both be in the right place. Shadow. Yeah, so we have one or both of you needing to do some shadow work here with the Hierophant in reverse. We got the baby there, right? So it's like we're really needing to uh, be committed to doing that shadow work perhaps you know there's a lot that we still need to learn within ourselves as well as you know within relationships but first of all we have to you know be committed to ourselves and have the strength to do the work that we need to do to really have that happiness in our lives with that three of cups energy right authority we have page of pentacles energy so i do feel like there is an offer here but by um you know someone who doesn't seem very balanced you know this doesn't feel like a very stable uh energy in, at the center of all of this healing the family issues this would say to me particularly the masculine um if we or the masculine aspect or you know or this could be who you need to forgive is a uh, father, if you will. So I feel paternal energy coming out here very strongly with that energy of, you know, what needs to be forgiven, perhaps. You know, I feel like also this uh, um, authoritative figure, if you will, this husband or father or whatever, you know, it just isn't, hasn't been the right time. This person is not putting in the work, you know, doesn't deserve to be with an empress if he's not being an emperor, you know what I mean? Temperance energy coming out with the spiritual union. So I get this energy that you feel like that this is a very deep connection and you've been very patient, you know, with this situation. Um, something that it feels like you really would like for it to work out and be good and be able to move forward, all right? You would like to be in that energy of the phoenix you know to be back in your power and to feel good about things with this person foundation what's coming out for the future here well i just feel like you're going to be dealing with a lot of conflict still you know what i mean someone gaslighting you perhaps telling you that you know they're going to be there they're going to do their part but I feel like they still just want to be in control more than anything. Yeah, let go of control issues could definitely be around that emperor energy. You know, needing to stop trying to control the situation so much. And when we look at this, this card here too, that would make sense, right? Maybe you had a controlling father, uh, Taurus. And, you know, this is you not wanting to find yourself in that kind of energy because you know how that ends up you know they always try to confuse you because they're not committal you know they're not committed and it, but yet at the same time they don't leave it's a <laughs> uh what do they say uh it's it's like a 
you know, don't want to stay but don't want to go kind of energy at the same time. So it's like this person want they like certain things about you, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you have the divine timing with the Ten of Swords energy. It's like you can go against what seems right, you know what I'm saying? But if you keep finding yourself in these dynamics where you kind of, you can look back at how did that play out, you know, and what you saw when you were a child. Did that play out well? So how do you think this is probably going to play out in your own relationship if you're more or less seeing the same exact thing playing out? Essentially, you're becoming one of your parents and your, your partner is becoming the other one. It's like reliving the hell that you grew up in, right? <laughs> Who wants to do that? Transformation in reverse. All right, so we have a Four of Pentacles energy with an Ace of Wands. You got to definitely hold back from that phallic energy, that masculine energy is what I'm seeing here. Knowing your value and worth. With those pentacles up, it's like almost like a chastity belt, a boundary, right? Um, and behind him, he's got the labyrinth. And this is you walking your path, knowing that you're meant for much more. Moving forward with this person is just going to keep you, right, from going forward and doing that healing work that needs to be done so desperately. You need to have that balance back in your life and turn your back on this person and understand that perhaps, you know, there just is an opportunity, at least at this time, because we did see the divine timing card coming out in reverse. In the future, maybe there could be that opportunity if you really feel like that this person is the one for you, Taurus. But, you know, they're just not in the right place at this time is what I'm seeing. So Aries energy, first quarter moon, step into your power. So this is about you taking your power back for sure. I see that very clearly with this, this uh, emperor in reverse energy and the page of pentacles. This is about loving yourself, you know, giving to yourself right now is really what I see because you need to, you know, be just as much in your power as the next person and especially your partner it's never going to work when it's imbalanced when those scales are off when the masculine and the feminine are not given equal reign in the uh, kingdom if you will so take a reality check and this is full moon and capricorn energy so you could be dealing with an aries a capricorn and what else is coming out here today or you could have these in your chart also coming out is speak your world into being and this is that gemini energy again of being balanced out knowing exactly what it is that you deserve and want and more than that you know not being silent about it any longer and allowing people to hold you back take a breather last quarter moon in cancer yeah you're definitely going to probably need that after you go through this and really come out the other end of this heal because to uh work through these um very difficult situations you know uh that we realize are playing out in our life that we saw when we were younger you know it starts to make so much more sense how we get caught up in these dynamics you know what i mean but once you do then you got to take the steps to you know do what you know is going to be best for you this energy is beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess and equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so this is definitely a mirroring energy going on here and it never serves well when we can you know go from one end of the spectrum to the other we can be so loving but at the same time we can tear each other down so much we really want to have that happy medium where we're staying more in the middle and not you know feeling the power struggle and pulled one way or the other so freedom says there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be and your last card says, if you could do anything, what would it be? So really think about this. 
all right? And the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Do like this video, guys. Hit the subscribe and bell notification. Taurus, thank you so much for being here. Check the description box, especially for the tarot um, certification course. You're not going to want to miss that, guys. Blessings to you for your week ahead, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.